Hi, you're on Rescue TV. I'm super excited to bring you my beautiful friend, Miss mm. Miranda Kerr. Nice to see you. Merry Christmas, gorgeous. Merry Christmas to you. You look a vision of, um, you know, sunshine today. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd get inspired with the beautiful colours on this dress. And today we're celebrating a, another feather in your cap, an extension of your partnership with Royal Albert. Yes. And you've designed stemware. Last time we met, you were launching the Let's beautiful um, uh, tea China. set yeah. and china, which I have all of, every single They're piece so of. They're so fun to mix and match. They are so fun to mix and match. And I was so um, detail orientated when I was like putting it all together and like the butterfly needs to be exactly here and the peonies need to be like this and I want, you know, the flowers to feel like they're growing naturally and the butterfly to look like it's effortlessly flying. You know what, it's so nice that you did that because strangely, you do notice the little details and they are the little quirks that put a smile on your face in the morning when you're doing something as mundane as having your morning cup of tea. Yes. And like you look and the, you know, the little bug is there and the butterfly is here and you're thinking, oh, that's nice, that's for me. Yeah, it feels like I wanted it to feel really personal and um, and each of, there are a few little, you know, each of different um, colors, they have a different um, name like friendship or joy, devotion, blessings. And um, I just felt like that was also an, an added intention behind it. So it's not just beautiful china. It's not just, you know, beautiful little butterflies and peonies. It actually has like... Supportive to like the intention, intention for the day. An intention behind it and like devotion and blessings and gratitude and friendship. And, yeah. I feel like this year has been a beautiful year for you. It's been a very busy year <laughs> and, and a really in interesting year from a creative standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, I've really, really enjoyed being more hands-on and um, doing creative projects like for Royal Albert um, and Swarovski as well. And I love that collection as well. And also for Cora, I mean, you've branched into fragrance and the yeah. chakra mm -hmm. oils, which is really exciting. And with Cora, which is my business and my baby. And yeah, it's, it's incredible to be able to really, um, work on projects that you that are, are really passionate like and really close to your heart and like they and it feels like with this tea set and the stemware and also with the jewelry and then also Cora Organics it, it's all like a, an expression of like who I am it's like my my essence that's really coming through and I through all of it my intention is to really help um, uplift the person who's coming into contact with that whether they're wearing the jewelry whether they're you know, having a cup of tea in the morning or whether they're using the products on their skin. It's, the intention is to really just help support and uplift. For me, it's not just mm. about like having a cup of tea, beautiful cup, it's like, there's, there's a, a lot of talk about mindfulness and I feel like you were ahead of the curve because, you know, five years ago when you did, it, it was five years now, right? Your first book? Oh yes, it treasure, treasure yourself. yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about mindfulness and affirmations then and now it's really become part of like everyday lexicon yeah. and um, I think that I, I remember one of the first interviews I did with you you were saying to me that on your water bottle you yeah, would uh, paste right. on an intention love. for yeah exactly on my water bottle you see like even mm. yesterday I was writing love peace happiness joy health because um, we're, we're vibrational beings and everything has a vibration and Dr. Masaru Emoto did That's such right. a big study on it, um, on the molecular structure of water and how it changes when you write a, you know, a positive word on there, if you speak to it in a positive way. Um, so that's why with all of my products, even um, like everything, it, the words are very powerful. I think so. Even yeah. on my, my products, like it's that little message behind, so there will yeah. be on the back of some of my products, there's kindness, grace. Um, love, understanding, acceptance, you know, those type of words. And even my products, the Cora Organics products, they're infused through rose quartz. So the rose quartz is a crystal that gives that vibration of like love, acceptance. It's a very soothing uh, rose quartz. And so... And I noticed with the stemware, you've got the beautiful uh, pink blush tone, very subtle through it, which yes. is so beautiful. So that's another reason. Um, so I wanted to create stemware that was beautiful and timeless and elegant, but also had um, a little bit of my essence in it, a little bit of like um, 
like an, something that was subtle and beautiful. And so that's why we were playing around with that beautiful soft pink, as you can see here, which if you're, if you're drinking like a glass of champagne and you're with your friends and you're like drinking it. Yeah, you almost don't see it. You almost don't see it yeah. because it's not in your face. It's very, um, it's very subtle. It's like a hidden little message. And you're like, mm. oh, is that pink? Or are you drinking like rosé champagne <laughs> or what is that? And the reason why I did that, and when it catches the light, it, it you know, you can see it more. Um, the reason why the intention behind the soft pink was just because it's the color of the heart chakra. And so to kind of have those soft, there's been so many studies on color therapy and whatnot, and to have those, that soft pink color, it's a very like soothing and loving color and it helps open the heart chakra. And I just feel like why not, um, you know, when you're add having that a glass your of man. shame, add that, a glass of champagne, why not have that experience and like, Everyone needs a little bit of um, love and um, so yeah. I saw um, some pictures on a couple of blogs of your beautiful home in Malibu. Oh, thank you. It feels like you've really nested and yes. um, I don't know how much time you get to spend in your beautiful home in Malibu. But oh yeah, lately not that much but I, I generally spend a lot of time there. And it just feels like um, it's such a next phase of your life where you're really nesting and the products that you're creating, as you were saying. They're products yeah. that I wanted for myself yeah. and that I like. It's and that I have in my own home and that um, it's, you know, I, it's an extension of me and and kind of like my whole philosophy. And are you a formal entertainer or are you quite relaxed when you have guests? Um, I am relaxed, but I like everything to be pre-organized. So I like to have all the meal completely, like it depends what kind of like dinner party I'm having. If it's like a dinner party with say like 10 people, I like to have everything organized beforehand. So I don't have to feel, so I feel like I can entertain them. Um, but if it's just like, you know, a girlfriend coming over and then we can cook together, it's like fine. It just depends on the, the, um, the evening. But I really, you know, one of my favorite things is entertaining at home because I'm, because I like work out, you know, like a lot, um, and then like I'm outside publicly a lot. Sure. It's really nice for me to be able to Center. be home and like have people at my house and really just it's it's something that i really enjoy doing it's like entertaining and i love cooking and like having you people. can tell though because i think it would be really difficult to create this line if you weren't a cook and if you didn't enjoy having people in your home and if you didn't have that history of having people in your home because yes. there are some people whose parents never entertained or they yes. were never allowed at the dinner table and you can really tell that there's a true passion for hospitality mm -hmm. in you. Yeah, and there is, and that does come from my family. Like, both my mother and my grandmother loved to cook, loved to have people over, and like, the door was always open in my family. There was never a problem if anyone, it was like, the more the merrier, come over. I remember like, so many people would just turn up at my, at my house and my mum would be like, come in, we've got more food, it's fine. Like, stay for dinner. That's just the way that like, my family is. That's the way that we are. and. And That's you can see it. You can yeah. really feel the warmth of that. Yeah. You know, the history mm -hmm. um, in all of the things that you create. It's, I call it like, um, it's like a, my grandma is like so, she just has it intrinsically in her. It's called mm. generosity of, of spirit. Like, there's always enough for everyone and everyone's always welcome. And can I ask you, what do you think is the difference between the way Australians entertain and the way that Americans entertain? Because, you know, you're living in both and. It, um, Malibu is quite similar to Australia. It but, is. I yeah. mean, it, I just think it has to do with the people. Like, everyone is so different all over the world. And these days, you know, the world is so multicultural. So it depends on who you're inviting to dinner and, like, who your friends are as to what kind of experience that you have. Like, I wouldn't say it's necessarily different in each country. The only thing that is different in each country is, like, the way I dress. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so like, for instance, like when I'm in Paris, I like to get more dressed up and in New York, but like a little bit here in Australia, but in Malibu, it's like very relaxed. Well, I wish you a really wonderful holidays. I know you've absolutely earned Thank it. You. And I hope that you get to have a glass of champagne with your family over the Christmas period. Yes, um, I, have a, I have a really favorite organic uh, champagne. You told me. It's organic one. Yes. Yeah. And what is it? What's the brand? It's called Organic One. Okay, Organic and One, yeah. It's, 
it like is so uplifting and on the back of the packaging talking about words so it's organic and biodynamically grown and it says like to something along the lines of like to invigorate the senses and um, enliven the soul here's to life like I was like oh wow yeah. those words are just they're really good well, you look amazing. You're obviously you, walking your talk and having a wonderful time because Try you glow. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful break. You really deserve it. And we love seeing you. So we look forward to Thank welcoming you. you back shortly. Thank you so much. Thanks for Thank having you, me. Darling.